The Panther KF-51 main battle tank is the first of its kind, a radical new MBT concept not constrained by yesterday's technology. Drawing on some of the latest technologies, the Panther was designed from ground up to deliver the highest lethality on the battlefield, combined with an integrated survivability concept and connected by a fully digitized NGVA data backbone to enable next-generation operational capabilities and automation. This enables a reduction in crew size which paves the way for unmanned turret options and human-machine teaming. The Panther has an unrevealed lethality overmatched with the 130mm future gun system and optimized sensor to shooter links. It has been adopted with an integrated survivability concept of on and off platform sensors coupled with active, reactive and passive protection and a dedicated top attack protection system. The first foreign main battle tank, the Panther is designed around a digital architecture complying with the NGVA standards. This is the key enabler for future decision support and automation systems. The Panther fulfills the core capability of dominate and destroy with a Ryan Metal future gun system consisting of a 130mm cannon, a fully automated ammunition handling system and the additional armament options of the Hero 120 loitering ammunition. The Panther has concentrated fire power for long range strikes and multi-target engagements. Rarely has the sheer power of a main battle tank gun be more impressive. The future gun system developed by Ryan Metal enables a 50% longer kill range to be achieved with an unrevealed rate of fire due to the autoloader performance. A 12.7mm coaxial machine gun complements the main gun, multiple remote controlled weapon station integration. These options give flexibility in proximity and drone defense. The optional Hero 120 loitering ammunition capability expands the Panther's strike capabilities to non-line-of-sight targets and can be mounted depending on role and mission requirements. The Panther is configured with a pre-shot detection capability enabling it to strike first. Threats from above are defeated by the Rheinmetall top attack protection system while the Rossi smoke obscurance system is provided as part of the survivability system which fully integrates with the digitized architecture to allow additional defensive measures. The standout survivability feature is undoubtedly the active key e protection which increases protection levels without affecting the system. As a system designed to operate in contested electromagnet spectrum, the Panther is fully cyber hardened. The combat weight of just 59 tons provides far greater mobility than the current systems. This puts it in a battle-winning weight category and it also fits the tunnel profile AMOV P4L without preparation, a requirement that no current main battle tank upgrade fulfills. Consequently, the Panther excels in tactical and strategic mobility as well. The Panther is a truly software-defined tank fully enabled to collect and disseminate information on the multi-domain battlefield. Deep integration of the modern BMS and software-defined communication system enables force to operate in collaborative combat environments such as cross-platform sensor to shooter links. The Panther is designed to control assign unmanned aerial vehicles such as onboard or offboard drones, loitering ammunition, and a range of uncrewed ground vehicles. The fully digitized system and common crew stations are the enablers for true human-machine teaming and control of wingman UGVs that cover capabilities such as platoon-level air and drone defense. The Panther is designed for a crew of three supporting future force structures with reduced number of soldiers. Two crew stations are located in the chassis with one dedicated to the driver and an optional station dedicated to a company commander, a drone operator or a wingman pilot. The fully digitized NGVA architecture allows for seamless sensor and effector integration both within the platform and cross-platform. Sensor and weapon control assignments can be passed between crew members instantly. Each workstation can hand over and take over tasks and roles from others with no reduction of functionality. As the turret and weapon controls are also provided to the chassis-based workforce stations, Future upgrades being planned include unmanned turrets and remotely operated panthers.